Donald Trump will move from his chair beside his attorneys to the witness stand on Monday when he appears in court. He will be seated across from the state attorney general, whom he has falsely accused of being a dirty cop without providing any proof, and to the left of a judge whom he has called a wacko. In his $250 million civil fraud trial, Trump is expected to be the star witness following more than a month of observing from the sidelines. According to sources who spoke with ABC News, Trump spent Sunday night in New York preparing for his testimony on Monday. Trump, according to the sources, is torn between being furious about the case and being in a good head space, eager to finish his testimony. One source even said that the former president can be a good witness if he stays focused. Certain members of the Trump family, including the former president himself, may take the stand again when the defense has its chance to make its case, according to sources who spoke with ABC News. James claims that for 10 years, Trump and his adult sons conducted business using fraudulent financial statements, benefiting themselves with favorable insurance policies, better loan conditions, and a reputation enhanced by Trump's alleged large net worth. James claims that Trump gave his officials orders to fabricate documentation in order to raise the worth of his namesake buildings and other assets in order to preserve that reputation. Trump has labeled James a dirty cop and said that his case is an example of election interference, while denying any wrongdoing. The trial will determine whether further actions are necessary and what punishment, if any, the defendant should face. The court supervising the case has been partially persuaded by the state's arguments, concluding in a partial summary judgment on the eve of the trial that Trump and his adult sons are liable for using false and misleading statements to conduct business. Trump has challenged the decision on appeal and accused Judge Arthur and Goron and James of having political motivations. Trump will take the stand for the second time in this case when he is sworn in ahead of his testimony on Monday morning. Two weeks ago, Trump was unexpectedly called to the witness stand by Judge and Goron to answer questions regarding a statement he made that the judge felt was directed at his clerk and, as a result, violated a limited gag order that forbade any parties from discussing his staff in public. The Trump administration had visited the courtroom to watch the testimony of his former attorney, Michael Cohen, to conduct